What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to really briefly go over how the cauldron and the fermenter work in Valheim. So in order to make these, the cauldron costs 10 tin to make and the fermenter is 30 fine wood, 5 bronze, and 10 resin. So they're, they're, they don't really take too much to make. You can get them pretty early on. And in order to use the cauldron, you just have to throw it over a campfire and you'll be able to make your meads and your other foods that you have. So you'll unlock the meads and food as you find the ingredients for them. Like once you find an entrail, you'll be able to make sausages. Once you find blood bags, which are dropped off of the leeches in the swamp biome, you'll be able to make the frost resistance and medium healing. I don't have everything unlocked yet because I haven't found all the ingredients, but that's how that works. Um, if you see here, the main ingredient for all of the meads is honey, which you can get out of the beehives. You can get beehives in your own in your own place here. You just have to go find them. They spawn in the meadow biome, and they're usually within the abandoned huts. If you just go run by the huts, sometimes you'll hear beehives. Sometimes they won't be in there. But you just have to destroy them. You can shoot a bow at them or hit them with your melee weapon, and it'll drop a queen bee. And you just got to take that queen bee back to your base and you'll be able to craft the beehives yourself. And these are both empty right now. They actually just produced me some honey. But you just need to put them on a post or something. You can put them on the side of your house and you just need to separate them. They can't, the beehives can't be right next to each other or else the bees are not going to be happy. But as you can see, even this is an adequate distance apart. These are both happy and they're both, both producing honey. So... That's how you get your honey, guys. You just need to find the queen bees, and you can get your own beehives going. And let's see here. I actually don't have the ingredients to make any more mead right now, and I have one currently fermenting, so I can't go ahead and craft one here. But it takes, I want to say it's like 20 minutes in real life to make a mead out of the fermenter so to get it fully fermented it takes about 20 minutes you can't speed that process up by sleeping you can usually like sleep in your bed and the stuff in your furnace will be finished smelting in the morning when you sleep but that's not the same case with the fermenters so if you're planning on using a lot of mead it's probably a good idea to get multiple fermenters going so it speeds that process up a little bit but yeah you guys that's basically the uh basics of the fermenter and the cauldron there so i appreciate you guys watching thank you so much and i will catch you in the next one